if you keep getting this message when you start your engine, I may be able to help you. I developed a fault on my sliding door on my Fiat Ducato. I kept getting the, the rear door open coming up on the dashboard, despite the rear door, all the rear doors being closed. Um, I suspected it was the sliding door because sometimes I'd have to slam it a couple of times to make it close properly. So um, I looked into it further. And to start with, uh, if I covered this sensor over with a piece of tissue uh, when I shut the door, because the connections weren't being made, the fault didn't come up, despite it not making the full connection. Don't know why. Um, but then it still needed to be repaired, and I thought I don't really want to have to take it to the garage, so I'll have a look at it myself. So it did turn out that this little thing here uh, was the problem, and I will show you what I did. So this bad boy was the culprit, and it wasn't making contact. So what I did was I popped it off with a screwdriver, he says. It's just got little things holding it in. There we go. Top and bottom. It's got these little plastic things holding it in. Just have to make sure you don't lose the little pluggy thing. Um, so what I needed to do, you see around here it's a little bit bent now. This is quite soft metal and it had got pushed in from constantly opening and closing the door. So by pulling this metal a little bit forwards and then just popping this back here, I just got the pliers on here and pulled it out best as I could. It's not very tidy, but then nobody sees it. Then you put it back in like that. You put your little jobby thing in there and that is it sorted. After doing my bit of jiggery pokery with this thing here, I shut the door, then I went back and put the key in the ignition and the fault had gone. And that was probably about three months ago and I've not had any problems since. And I know that the Fiat Ducato, the Peugeot Boxer and the Citroen Relay are all basically the same van with different engines in them. So I guess this repair would work on any of those vans. So uh, it's worth trying before taking it to a garage and getting charged a fortune. Hopefully this little video will have helped you if it has, it would be really good if you could give me a like and if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And there is a button somewhere here, I guess.